Thank you for coming to our iCrack channel. In this repair today is for an iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is experiencing an issue where it is unable to connect to networks. It's showing no service, and also in mobile data within the settings, it shows that it has an issue. If you have an iPhone which isn't connecting to services, then this is the type of repair that we would complete to ensure that it's all working again. Fault is actually within the logic board and specifically within the connectivity circuit. The radio frequency circuit is actually contained in the bottom half of the logic board and it is actually a common failure amongst most iPhone models. It can be due to drops or single microchips failing. Once the iPhone's logic board, which is like the brain, was removed from the iPhone, we could then proceed to have it heated on a preheater to be able to disconnect the layers. The logic board actually has a sandwich layer design. Apple were able to increase their surface area by double stacking the logic board. There is actually an art to disconnecting the layers and that's disconnecting at the right time by not overheating that logic board. And this is what the two layers of the boards look like. The top layer is where all the processing happens. Largest chip with the largest surface area on that top board is Apple's A14 Bionic chip. Bottom board is where all the radio frequency microchips sit. So this is the connectivity. This is connectivity to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, the connectivity to your networks. And that's what we needed to further inspect. When testing the logic board, we actually found a short, a short to ground with one of the microchips that controls the power that runs into the chip that is responsible for connecting to networks. This was our pinpointed fault stopping the iPhone from connecting to networks. After replacing the microchip, we were able to connect both sides of the logic board and the screen to a jig. This jig acts as if both sides of the logic board are connected together so that we can go through with further testing. After putting in the passcode, we were able to see that the phone was now searching for networks and not just immediately going to no service. This was a positive sign. And in settings, it now wasn't telling us that it had a connectivity issue. It was also showing that it had modem firmware, which it requires to connect to the networks. After fitting the iPhone's logic board back in the iPhone, we were able to complete tests. And the first one was to confirm that the iPhone now showed no SIM. All information through settings were now showing the correct values. And now we just had to complete one final test. Now, the final test is with a UK SIM card. And this would now show that the iPhone connects to networks and we could make our normal test calls. Screws back in, final screws going in in the bottom of the phone with the screen now connected. We knew we had success. Now, this repair today was on a iPhone 12 Pro Max, but it's a similar process that we use for all models. If you have an iPhone which is showing no service or any connectivity issues, please feel free to submit a diagnostic request via the website and we will see you in the next repair video. Thank you so much for watching.